In this educational documentary, we will be exploring deeper into the culture of Christianity, Hinduism, and Aboriginal spirituality by taking a closer look at art, symbols, artifacts, and architecture. Religious symbolism is a key to convey religious concepts and the visual, auditory, and kinetic representations of their ideas and events. Symbols can be found in all religions and can be seen as the main characteristic of religious expression. In the religions chosen, there are many symbols that represent them, though there are only a select few that are prominent. In Christianity, the most important symbol throughout the religion is the cross. This is the principal symbol for this religion and is known universally. It is related to the crucifix, so as to recall the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and the redeeming benefits of his passion and death. The cross is thus a sign of both Christ himself and of the faith of Christians. When the cross is used for prayer and ceremonies, making the sign of the cross is a profession of their faith, dedication, or benediction. All in all, though the cross was a method of brutal punishment, it is still seen as a positive symbol for the religion since it is seen to bring them closer to God and it shows his love for them. For the second religion, Hinduism, the most important symbol is Aum, which can be spelt as A-U-M, and is considered the greatest of all mantras. Aum is an ancient Sanskrit word that was first felt by Rashis as they meditated. Since the syllable Aum is composed of three sounds, it represents several important triads. The three worlds, which is earth, atmosphere, and heaven. The three major gods, Brahma, Vishnu, and Siva. And the three sacred Vedic scripture, Arji, Yajur, and Sama. The first letter in the second way of spelling Aum, A, represents the creation and aspect of the universe and all of the objects within it. A uh, is the beginning of all sounds and is the most common letter that starts alphabets. It is also supposed to connect people to their sense of self, the ego. The second letter, U, produces the sound U and is supposed to signify the maintaining energy of the universe and the subtle impressions of the mind. By chanting this letter, it is supposed to let in lightness, clarity, balance, and goodness. The sound of the last letter, M, is N which characterizes the transformative energy of the universe and the thoughts and beliefs of your beingness. By saying the sound, it is supposed to unite you to the awareness of oneness and allow you to slow down in order to feel the connect connectedness of all that is. Due to this representation, the symbol Aum mystically embodies the essence of the entire universe to Hindus. For the religion of Aboriginal spirituality, the symbol of most significance is drums. Drums are used in nearly every aspect of native culture, ranging from births to funerals. Every tribe and even clans within tribes have their own set of rules when it comes to how the materials for drums are gathered, who has the right to prepare a drum, and what types of behavior are allowed and not allowed near a drum. There are three different types of drums used by native people which are single-headed drums, double-headed drums, and kettle drums. All of these drums are said to carry special healing powers into the human body. A sick person's psychological and physiological states are believed to be altered by the drum beats and accompanying song, and the illness becomes more attuned to other medical remedies. Some believe that the beat of the drum has the power to change natural elements, including the weather. It is believed to have the power to heal sickness, and some believe it has the power to send messages both to the animal world and to the spiritual world. Religious art is artistic imagery inspired by a specific religion or faith and is often intended to uplift the mind to a spiritual level. This type of art can be seen in many, if not all, religions and is produced in an attempt to illustrate and portray the principles of their religion. The three religions chosen have many pieces of art that work to do that, but there are only a few that really had an impact. In Christianity, the most prominent piece of art is The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. This painting depicts a major event in the early life of Jesus Christ that was recorded in the Bible. The Last Supper is a description of the last meal Jesus Christ had with his disciples prior to his crucifixion. During this event, Jesus does many things including predicting he will suffer soon after his meal 
and that it would be his last. Secondly, Jesus gives his followers symbols of remembrance for his body, his blood, sacrificed on behalf of all mankind. And lastly, Jesus provides hope to his followers by promising that the gates of heaven would be open to all. The Last Supper contains many significant principles and continues to be an important part of Christian lives throughout the world. In the religion Hinduism, the Jatayu Vatham by Raja Ravi Varma is an important piece of artwork. This is an oil painting and was made in 1895. This painting depicts a story of the killing of Jatayu, a vulture who is a demigod which could speak the human language. When the Rakasha king, the demon's king, Ravana, kidnapped Jatayu's friend's wife, he tried to rescue her. Though when he went to rescue her, he was weakened because of his old age, and due to this, the strong king Ravana cut off Jatayu's one wing. <laughs> depicted in the painting is a very important event in Hinduism and was accurately shown through this painting by Raja Ravi Varma. Lastly, in the religion of Aboriginal spirituality, an important piece of art is the totem pole. A totem pole is a monumental sculpture usually made from large trees consisting of poles, posts, or pillars and carved with symbols or figures. For Native Americans, though a totem pole is more than just that. A totem is a spirit being, sacred object or symbol of a tribe, clan, family, or individual. Each totem pole depicts nine different animals, all of which are supposed to accompany and act as guides to an individual who has it. Within a totem pole, there is one animal that is with you for life, both in the physical and spiritual world. Though people may identify with different animal guides throughout the lifetimes, it is this one totem animal that acts as its main guardian spirit. When it is for a clan or family, it serves as their emblem, its unity, the rights to which people in each clan were entitled, and as a reminder of each clan's link to a spirit ancestor. Architecture is defined as the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings. For religious architecture, though, there is a more specific definition, which is a religious architectural practice concerned with the design construction of places of worship and or sacred or intentional space, such as churches, mosques, supas, synagogues, and temples. In the religion Christianity, a prominent architecture is St. Peter's Basilica. It is the largest church in the world and is placed in Vatican City, in Rome, Italy, and is often called the greatest church in Christendom. This place is considered one of the holiest Catholic shrines since it is the burial site of St. Peter, who was one of the 12 apostles of Jesus, and it is also one of the biggest churches. For this reason, it is visited by thousands of pilgrims and tourists every month. The basilica seen today is actually a remake of the old one, which was made in 349 AD. It had stood for over a thousand years before it had started to deteriorate. Its deterioration was so bad that it had to be demolished and was then recreated on November 28, 1626. Some of the most famous architects at the time had worked together to design and build, and it took about 120 years to complete again. The interior of the basilica is filled with many masterpieces of Renaissance and Baroque art. Among the most famous are Michelangelo's Pieta, the Tomb of Urban VIII, and the Bronze Cathedral of St. Peter. For Hindus, an important religious piece of architecture is the Kadera Madhiva Temple. It is located in Madhya Pradesh, India and is among the most magnificent examples of religious art in all of Asia. It is the largest and most elaborate of the Hindu temples and was renowned for its Niagara-style architecture, as well as its sculptures, which appears throughout the building. 
The temple is dedicated to the Hindu deity Shiva, which, who is their superior god, and it is from Shiva that the temple derives its name, since Mahadeva is another term for Shiva. The temple measures about 30 meters in length, 20 meters wide, making it look like a range mountain straining upwards till it meets the sky, or Shiva. The base of the temple goes up in a curve, which is supposed to make it appear to be climbing up to the central tower, giving it both force and momentum on its skyward journey towards divinity. Last but not least are the architectures for Aboriginal spirituality. For Aboriginal spirituality, they do not have architecture quite so grand as Christianity and Hinduism, but their important architectures are longhouses and teepees. Although these are not used as much as they were in the past, it is still important to their history and can be seen sometimes being used today. Longhouses were a typical structure that was long and narrow and was used as a house by most of the Northeast Woodland tribes who made them their homes. They were built up to 200 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 20 feet high and was made with poles which were covered with bark. A variety of different um, trees were used to build a longhouse depending on the tree's stability. There were two doors for the entire building, one at each end, and separate rooms were created by using wooden screens and mats. Through the house from doorway to doorway ran a central passage. The space on either side of this was divided by partitions of skin into series of stalls, each of which occupied by a family. A series of fires were placed in the central passage for healing, cooking, and light. The smoke would escape through a hole left in the roof above it. The second piece of architecture are teepees. Teepees were another place lived in by Aboriginals and were for individual families. It is made up of 15 poles, each of which representing something. They kept them warm in the winter and cool in the summer and protected them from winds. Since they were just made out of sticks or poles and cloth, it was easily movable, which fit with their lifestyle. It is designed circular since they believe that all of, the all of the world's power comes from circles and also that it was healthy, while a fixed home was unhealthy since it is seen as a cage. Each of the poles supporting it represented something different, including obedience, happiness, love, and strength. So to end off, I hope you learned a great deal about the art, symbols, artifacts, and architecture for Christianity, Hinduism, and Aboriginal spirituality, and that with this new knowledge, you are able to be more open-minded and enlightened.